Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I have a new product here from RMS Beauty. We're gonna do some swatches and of course I will review the formula to let you know if these are worth it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I wanted to chat through my new hair care routine and my experience with the sponsor of today's video, which is Function of Beauty. So if you've never heard of Function of Beauty, they make customizable hair care, skin care, and body care formulas. I'm gonna be talking about their hair care today. So what you do is go onto their website and then you fill out this little quiz. It asks you about your hair type, your hair texture, and your hair goals. And then they actually make a custom formula to fit those needs. And I'll pop it on the screen to sort of show you what the quiz is like. But to run through just my results is I do have thin hair that is naturally straight. So my hair goals were deep condition, voluminize, strengthen, shine, and fix split ends. So you can have up to five of these hair goals. And the formulas that I have, I have a shampoo, conditioner, a deep conditioner, and then I also have a purple shampoo. That's also something really cool that they take into consideration as well is your hair color. One of my favorite things about the whole process is you can actually customize the fragrance, the dyes, and you can choose your formula to be silicone free. So I did want all of my formulas to be silicone free. It's just a personal preference. I'm also very sensitive to fragrance and I thought it was so cool that you can either choose to have fragrance free options or you can choose your own scent and they tell you which ones are natural and which ones aren't. And then you can also customize your scent level. So I did put a scent in mine. I went ahead with the eucalyptus scent. I love just like minty refreshing scents. It's also really nice on your scalp. And I customized the level and went with light because I don't like anything too strong, but I did still want something, a little something there to, you know, make the experience better. So let's just start out with the two classics, my shampoo and my conditioner formula. I chose for these to be dye free as well, but there's a bunch of cool colors that you can choose from. And they do have your name on them. You can't tell because these bottles are white, but it does say function of Lindsay. And these come with little metal caps on them, but then you go ahead and put the pumps on yourself. So, so far these have been really great for me. I think something that I really noticed that's different than other hair care products that I've used is specifically the conditioner and I think the shampoo as well is the conditioner doesn't weigh my hair down. I don't think I realized how much other products weighed my hair down until I tried out this conditioner because it did give me that deep moisture that I wanted because I do have long hair, you know, I get split ends pretty easily. So I want something deeply nourishing and moisturizing, but it did not weigh my hair down. It actually made my hair like more voluminous and it gives it like, I don't know how to explain it, but it did like give my hair this thickness that really helped it hold on to like my curls as well, which was really interesting. I was totally not expecting that. But now that I've tried this formula, it just made me really think about all the other conditioners and how much they may have been weighing my hair down. And the shampoo has also been doing a really good job of that. I use this one uh, maybe once a week. I'll usually wash my hair around two to three times a week. And I think usually two out of the three times I'm using this purple shampoo. What I really enjoy about this one is it's not super strong, so I can use it throughout the week and it doesn't deposit like dark violet pigments into my hair. Some other purple shampoos and conditioners, they can just be a little bit too dark. Like I still want the brightness in my hair. And I really like that I can continue using this one and it doesn't just build up and not look good. It still helps to maintain the shine, but just takes all those like brassy tones away. And I think my favorite out of the line is actually this hair mask. So this I used last night actually. So my routine last night was the purple shampoo. I did a little bit of this conditioner and then I added on the deep conditioner as well. This I really enjoy for the same reason that I like the conditioner that I have here is it added so much moisture to my hair but it did not weigh my hair down. A lot of hair masks I have are just so thick but you can kind of tell by the texture of this. It is more of a lightweight hair mask so you can use it weekly but it doesn't build up in your hair and you feel like you have to go in with shampoo and like really scrub it out. So that's been just like a major difference in my hair I've noticed is from that hair mask. It's holding my style better. My hair is a lot more like voluminous and I do struggle a lot with tangles as well. Although that wasn't like one of the hair goals, I do feel like just something about the formula that was custom for me that really helped to tangle my hair so I'm not like sitting there and just like 
brushing out my knots for 10 minutes. That's painful, no one wants to do that. So I really enjoyed the experience of testing all of these out. I really recommend it if you have a really hard time maybe finding hair care products that are right for your hair. Like my issue was I do have thin hair but I need a lot of moisture. So a lot of formulas are just too heavy and they would weigh my hair down. Or if you have scent sensitivities like I do or you're just specific about your ingredients as well. I love that you can get these silicone free and you can customize the fragrance if you don't want fragrance, if you don't want any dyes and you can also customize that fragrance level. That's just super cool and I don't see that in any other sort of hair care formulations on the market. So if you wanted to take your very own hair quiz or maybe check out their skincare and body care line, I will be sure to put the link at the top of the description box, so check down there below. That was it for my little updated hair care routine. I will continue to use these and maybe do another update down the road. So far I'm really enjoying anything, no complaints. They were super fun to try out. And I just think it's so cool and actually seemed to be really helpful to have my own custom hair formula. So this new product is their Lip Lights Cream Lip Gloss. So it's a skin nourishing, dewy textured three in one layer of glow. It says it works as a treatment balm, a sophisticated gloss and a subtle stingless voluminizer. Formulated with plumping peptides and soothing botanical butters, this everyday lip tint comes in an artist tube so you can squeeze out and use up every last drop of the product before recycling. Super clean ingredients. One, two, three, four, five. And it has seven shades. I have three shades here, some of the more neutral ones. So here's the packaging. They do come in aluminum tubes and then you could just squeeze them out. So let's start with the lightest shade I have here, which is called Bear. The shade says it's uniquely you. This subtle pink gloss reacts to your body's natural pH for the perfect personalized flush of color. Let me wipe off my lip and then we will go ahead with the application. So the one thing I did notice at first is these are a little bit hard to squeeze out of the tube but once you sort of soften up the tube it gets a lot easier i'll do a hand swatch quite thick and this is just your very classic subtle pink very neutral i don't necessarily feel like the color changes once i put it on my hand but let's go ahead and do the lip swatch i don't mind applying this with my finger it might be like inconvenient if you're out and you feel like your hands are dirty but at home, I really don't mind it. So here's the shade Bear on my lips. I do feel like it did warm up a little bit as I put it on and became slightly more pink. The formula just feels like a very thick lip balm. It doesn't really feel like a gloss, but it does give you that very pretty glossy look. The pigment's very even and I like applying it with my finger because I feel like it just spreads it very evenly. I like to do that with tinted balms anyway. Super pretty, feels very nourishing. I do have some dry skin on my lips right now, so it's not accentuating that. And I mean, really nothing to complain about in terms of the formula. The shade is really pretty. I think it would look great on a lot of different skin tones. Next up, we have the shade Rumor. This is a dusty mauve, which is right up my alley. I definitely think this one is my favorite shade. So there is Rumor next to mauve. It definitely is a dusty purple shade, nice cool undertone. The shade matches the tube pretty well, I would say. It's a relatively good depiction of it. These are like the easiest swatch videos to do because my lips do not get dried out because they're lip balms, which is nice. I'm gonna take the same amount of this one. I mean, they are pretty pigmented. I really love this shade. I've been wearing this with a lip liner, but I also think it looks really good on its own. Super flattering if you do have more cool toned skin, but I feel like it's pretty versatile and could work on some neutral or warm toned skin as well. Lastly is one that I have not tried yet. This is what the tube looks like when it's brand new. This is the shade Rhapsody, which is described as a spicy cinnamon. I feel like this does go with the eye look. I'm worried it might be a little bit too warm, but I'll try to show you. You kind of have to work it out a little bit when you first get the tube. Ooh, this actually looks nice and like brown toned. Okay, that's gorgeous. It is very similar to this one, but it has more of that like cinnamony, slightly more red, like brick red hint to it. And here's the shade Rhapsody. I actually really love the shade too. I think these types of muted brick reds look really great on olive skin, like my own. I am more of a cool olive. 
way more flattering on my lips than I thought it would be. These are super gorgeous. I do think these two are my favorite, but of course that bare shade is just perfect if you want that like my lips but better type of look. Let me know in the comments which one of these three shades you like best. So in terms of tinted lip balm formulas, it's what I'm going to call this. I don't really feel like it's a gloss. Like it is glossy, but it's definitely more of a balm formula. This is one of my favorites that I've tried. I really like the thickness and it like sticks on your lips and it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip off. I don't like a super slippery lip oil. So if you are like me and you like something a little bit thicker that has more longevity and stays on the lips and gives you a really smooth, even pigment, I think these are a very beautiful wearable formula that I could just see myself using. I mean, I have been using them basically every day. The only con I would say is because you have to apply them with your finger, it's like a little hard to use when you're out and about. I mean, you could do it directly from the tube and rub it in, but I don't mind using my finger at home. I think the shades are really pretty. They do also have some other more warm tone shades to check out. They have seven shades total, as I mentioned. I think the packaging is cute. It's recyclable, which is great. If you're not a lipstick person, but still want color on your lips, I think these are a really good pick as well. I hope this quick little review and swatch video was helpful if you were interested in picking that up to get sort of a visual of the shades on my fair skin. I've also been really loving their blush and their primer. I will, of course, link everything below, but thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.